Today I want to talk about gear, and you may have guessed from the title, more specifically about this company here, Joby. They make Gorillapod, and I want to tell you why you should avoid buying any of their products. Let me give you a bit of history about my relationship with Joby. The first camera I bought was this. It's a Hero 4 Silver, and I needed something to carry it around and that for me was a Gorillapod. This is the one I bought. This is the first Joby product that I ever bought. Following the GoPro, the next camera I bought was this. It's a Canon S120. I still use it to this day and it's what my Life in 60 frames per second series has been shot on so far. To go with that camera, I bought this. It's a Joby small fold-up tripod, actually intended for mobile devices, but it works great straight into the three-quarter um, screw thread on the S120. The third camera I bought is what I'm shooting on now, which is a Canon 700D SLR, and for that, I bought one of these. You probably recognize it. This is a larger version of the uh, Gorillapod that I bought for the GoPro and it's the Gorillapod that a lot of YouTubers use when they're starting out. It's the plastic one and not the metal one. Following that tripod I bought this. This is a window suction cup mount for a GoPro and other cameras depending on what you want to put on there and that was the final Joby product that I ever bought and probably will ever buy. I have also purchased at least two of these full head mounts with the quick release so that I can have all my cameras on one type of quick release and I actually really like the quick release despite the title of the video because it's small and the small quick release plates fit in the larger tripod as well as their own smaller tripod so that is thumbs up So here's the reason why I can't recommend their products. Tripod number one, broken. Okay, these legs, they all come out. This is broken. Tripod number two, same thing happens. These legs also come out, it's broken. Suction cup, item number three, if you can see here, Completely shattered, also broken. The only tripod that I've bought from Joby that hasn't broken so far is the little folding mobile tripod, and that's fully metal, and it's tiny. I mean, there's not a lot to go wrong on it. So if that breaks, I don't know what to do. So here's the problem. The design of the products and what they can help you achieve when you're filmmaking is highly recommendable. However, the construction, not being able to rely on the gear, not being able to trust that your camera is not going to fly off of something because one of the legs comes off, that is what you can't recommend. When this first tripod broke, it was within the year. However, I was busy, missed my chance to return it, and therefore I'm stuck with a broken tripod. I still occasionally use it, but I know I'm not going to wrap it onto something that it's likely to damage the camera if it comes off 
very seldom use it, maybe only for handheld shots and that's about it. So with the second tripod, when that one broke as well, immediately I contacted Joby and I said, look, what the hell, what's going on with your product? They did duly send me a new one. However, due to the import duty, cost almost as much as a brand new one, something they did not pick up the bill for. So I might as well have just tossed it out and bought one fresh from a shop. When this third mount broke, when I was shooting a project that is yet to be released, coming soon, I've got to decide whether it's worth sending this back or throwing it away. It's really frustrating to have gear that doesn't last. This has been used literally a handful of times and it's failed at its only job, which is to hold the camera in a fixed position. The entire center of the ball head has just shattered. There's nothing you can fix on that. I may still get some use out of the suction cup part because it comes off, uh, but this arm is completely useless now. It's broken. So where does this leave me? I have invested into the quick release system. All of my cameras have this attachment on the bottom. Allows me to swap from this small tripod to this bigger tripod without having to change the plate on the bottom of this. It's nice and lightweight. I don't have to take the plate off to get to the battery door or put the camera away in a case. So I like the system. I just wish that it wouldn't break after a few months of usage. So I know what some of you are thinking. You might put it down in the comments that they do a metal version of this and that will be much sturdier. They do a different ball head mount with a metal plate. I don't want to have to buy the more expensive option because their cheaper option is so crap. This is the tripod that they recommend for the weight of the camera that I have, so it should be fine. This is overkill for this particular camera. This is the tripod they recommend for the GoPro. This is the tripod that I bought for the GoPro. This is the only suction cup mount they do. They don't do a metal arm or different system, so why is that shattered after two or three uses? This I would recommend because it folds flat to the bottom of the camera you get a phone mount to go on the top and so far it hasn't broken so that's a good thing. So far I haven't found a better alternative and I still have a tripod that is unbroken so I will carry on using it. All of my ball heads I should say still work fine so I'll carry on using those for now but at some point I will have to replace all of these items which seems a bit ridiculous because most of them are under or just over a year old so my recommendation to you is find a different solution leave a comment down below and let me know what you think if you like this video then use the like button down here if you fancy subscribing try this picture of my face and here is something that YouTube thinks you might like and I'll catch you in the next one this part actually just fell off whilst I was filming